Hi guys, first thing Naked 3 palette and we're going in with Limit and I'm just blending this with a synthetic fluffy brush into my transition area. This will just help the eyeshadows blend out later. And just keep going until you've got a bit of definition or as much as you want on. Like I said, I'm not putting too much on. It's more to um, assist. Then I'm going in with my Revolution Makeup Revolution palette on um, Eyes on the Angels. And I'm starting with the hot pink colour and the synthetic shader brush. And I'm patting that all over the mobile lid, apart from the very inner corner near the um, inner tear duct. That tape's poking me in the eye, making my eye water, so I keep trying to move it and it doesn't work. I'm just building up the colour um, and then blending it out with the synthetic brush. Just keep blending as you go, um, so then it doesn't turn into too big a job at the end. As you can see, my little boys are in the background today as I was trying to get ready. Again, blending out, adding more colour as you go. Now I'm going in with that shimmery shade and I'm adding that as an inner corner highlight and blending that into the pink and slightly up into the crease, inner crease area just to open the eyes a bit. Adding a bit more pink and again blending. Blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going in with this purple colour and this um, crease blend brush and I'm just adding that um, into the crease and on the outer V and winging it out slightly. Again, that tape's annoying me. Sorry, that's my phone going off. And blend with the synthetic brush, brush again. Can't speak today. Going in with this with the slightly darker bluey purpley colour, and I'm just packing that on the outer V area and blending that out into the crease and making sure that the transition's nice and smooth, and also blending that um into the lid colour. Blending that out with the first purple colour on that synthetic brush and just checking in my other mirror just to check that's okay. And just keep blending until you're happy, adding some more pink to the lid because it's um it's got blended away a bit so I'm just adding more going in with strange to highlight my brow bone area and blending that down into that transition area I'm going back with the limit and just blending out again can never do too much blending tape off I'm using Max Black Track Gel Eyeliner and a tiny little nail brush. Excuse my boys fighting in the background. And I'm just doing not a major wing, just smallish wing. Nothing too major. And I'm just using that edge, straight edge of my eyeshadow um, as a guide. You can leave the tape on when you do your eyeliner. It's completely up to you and I'm just going back making sure it's all filled in and um, there are no <laughs> naked spots um, in my lashes. As you can see my boys are still fighting, it's all they seem to do these days. And I'm just trying to even out the wings and I'm doing that in my other mirror that I keep at the side of my desk. Oh, and I knock my computer and my phone's going off again. Final blend in the crease area. I'm going in with that purple colour and a shader brush and I'm just adding that to my lower lash line. And I'm just packing that on to get um, get the colour nice and pigmented and dense. And using a pencil brush, going in with that original pink and then just blending that out.
Now I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution um, Awesome Eye Foil in um, Platinum and I'm just mixing it on the dish. That's a really unattractive angle and you can see all my chins. And I'm just using the Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush to put that underneath the wing of my black eyeliner. Obviously this is optional. You do not have to add this part if you do not want to or you can use glitter. Um, I just thought it added a little something in. It was fun. And then I just went over my gel liner because I kind of messed it up with the silver eye foil. And I'm kind of blending that into my lower lash line and using a little smudger brush to blend out that eyeliner. Just making sure that silver's really pigmented and blended nicely. And blending that purple a bit more. Now I am lining my lips with Natural Collection from Boots and this is in the colour Ruby Rose I think. I'll double check but um, everything will be in the description bar below. And this is just an MUA Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade Bare. And now I'm using my Waterproof False Lashes Mascara by MAC. Top and bottom. Really unattractive mascara face. Packing it on the lower lashes. I have really stumpy bottom lashes. And there you go, that's the finished look.